All right, thank you again. As you know, I was going to get into terrakinesis or geokinesis, which seem like they're pretty interchangeable terms for this godly power, which is basically deities who are associated with the earth and have terrestrial attributes and control various aspects of the earth, right? This is where their power comes from. Now, most we're going to know is Geb, right? Who is the comedic Egyptian representation of the earth. And he is real power, right? He can manifest mountains. He can open up fissures, right? He, you cannot escape his power. And it, it, of course, this is the earth power. Now, I, you know, I wanted to say terrakinesis or geokinesis because most of the time when we see elemental powers manifest, they're able to translate. Like, you know, electricity is going to be electricity on whatever planet you're on, right? If you're, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, using electrokinesis and you're on Earth, I would think that you'd be able to go to another planetary body and still be able to command that element. I think they're all the same for the universe, and I think that's the same for Earth for this particular ability, right? And then we see we see a deity like Hades, who's the Greek god of the underworld, and what that also means is that he can control all the elements within the Earth, right? They get massive. Wealth comes with the earth, and to be able to manipulate its rocks, to be able to manipulate its elements. And that's something that Hela also does. And we see her use it in a way where she creates projection weapons, right? We saw that. That's what she was doing in the movie. She was creating these projections that were stone, that were able to reach anyone. So she was constantly able to create weapons for herself, right? And we see volcano or, 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 goddesses or goddesses of volcanoes obviously are heavily linked to that because the, you know this again is part of the earth's bounty so volcanoes fall under uh the manipulation of of the earth and we can see this is a dc character this is magma and dc's got a pretty heavy hefty list of earth movers or people who have terrestrial abilities a, lot, a couple of earthquakes up here tala right we'll get into some of these characters as we move on but this magma character obviously is a reference to Volcanoes, and we can kind of see how that fits. If you're, you know, we're gonna say, okay, uh, La Ahon is a, a, a volcano goddess. Obviously, um, Aganju, who is a uh, African king goddess, who's venerated in parts of uh, uh, Yoruba belief system, he represents volcano power. So again, an earth connection to the volcano power, right? Another DC character, right? Uh, uh, Terra. Who can lift, you know, lift massive stones with very little strength? So these characters are all representing, you know, the potential for Earth powers and how they're used. Now, one thing I wanted to point out to you: this is another character here that is in uh, the the Marvel universe. This is the, this is the Sandman, who really should manifest a very powerful being. Like he can control the density of the sand. He can add on mass. Whether he's able to learn information from sand or dirt or earth, I'm not sure how that component of it works but it, it's tapping into some really significant power another way that we see uh, terrakinesis or geokinesis manifest is in the creation of these clay golems these clay protectors now i would think obviously you you know you put this together with clay and you use the the spells on it it's spell casting that animates this rock being and gives him a purpose as a protector now i would assume this same process is going to work with uh, uh, other elements. So if I could go with something like a diamond or you know any of the of the metals of the earth, right? That should be part of that same family of like earth elements and earth animation. So I'm saying creating a golem is geokinesis. Geokinesis, right? That's what they're manifesting. The same way Hercules, or, you know, ha Hades would manifest. The same way that you know uh, 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 this character here, uh, the Sandman, would still manifest. So you take full advantage of what the Earth has to offer. Obviously, Gaia, a very powerful deity of the Earth, who seem obviously more in a like a kind, giving, motherly way. But this is what we see in lots of characters. This is the Marvel universe where they outline geokinesis as well, very, very thoroughly. Right? It talks about actually that's their character Hal, right there. But they do the same thing. They list like a wide bevy of of you know beings who possess the ability to control the Earth. You can create earthquakes, you can create landslides, right? These can be very, you know, absolutely very dangerous, very dangerous things. 
And if you're adding that ability to, to take that on to, you know, other environments, I think this is one of the more powerful. I don't think it's as flashy as, you know, electrokinesis or pyrokinesis, but it's right there, man. If you can control stones, you can control magma, um, you can control the elements that come out of the earth. That's, that's, a, very, that's a very, very powerful skill set. So uh, terrakinesis, again, one of the more powerful uh, gifts that you can be given, truly a god power. If you have more to add on this intro on geokinesis, geokinesis, please do so in the comment section. And as always, if you like my videos, hit that like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you know we have new videos in the loop.